Hello, this is Scott Buceno from telecoms.com here at Mobile World Congress 2022, and I'm talking to Enrico Salvatore from Qualcomm. Enrico, why don't you just start by telling us about some of the things you've been talking about at the show? At the show, we are, uh, first of all, happy to be here. After many years, that uh, couple of years, we will not be here. But uh, I think the focus for us is uh, compare where 5G was two years ago and where we are today. Uh, the progress done in execution and implementing the technology, network, coverage, devices, all around. Starting from there, also to see how this new technology, the 5G connectivity, combined with the AI, so combined with the intelligence in the objects, not only connecting objects, but also giving them some level of intelligence, is uh, introducing new devices, new industry sectors like IoT, but I would say, first of all, like automotive. And I think you know, Qualcomm I always associate historically with sort of smartphone chips, but it looks like Qualcomm's evolution sort of mirrors the evolution of the telecoms industry in the 5G era where you're involved in so many different areas. Perhaps you could uh, drill down a little bit. You just referred to automotive. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about your activities in that sector. Auto automotive is a vertical that is uh, adopting very rapidly digital components. So the digital transformation in the car is happening now, also because of the transformation due to the electrification of the cars. So the automakers have to redesign the chassis of the car, the architecture of the car, and this is the interception point for the digital equipment to be part of the new design. We, in Qualcomm, call this aggregation of platforms the digital chassis. Digital chassis is a combination of three domains. The connectivity, telematics, the cockpit uh, technology, IVI, and ADAS, autonomous driving uh, platform. We welcome are delivering roadmap in three domains and all together combined create the digital chassis. The benefit of that is because the three domains can talk each other and can optimize the performance in terms of digital hardware and software platform into the car. So, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. The car is obviously evolving really rapidly at the moment. Maybe just to finish off, could you give us some sense of, you know, where, where we'll see the, uh, the, uh, the connected car, digital car, um, evolving in the next few years? What, what, new, what things we can expect in that area? Yeah, of course, uh, connectivity is a reality and the cars are more and more, all the cars connected. I would say the penetration of the connectivity in the car, modern 4G, migrating to 5G, is now. The cockpit technology is uh, migrating in the car environment to the driver, to the passengers. The user experience we can achieve today at home with the smart home technology, with the smartphone, first of all. So making sure that uh, same environment is happening in the car. Uh, entertainment, audio, video, video streaming, uh, personal assistant, all features that we are used to have at home and we want to receive also in the car. So this is the trend. Of course, the third step in evolution is the autonomous driving that is already available up to level two plus in the car, but it continues evolving to level three and, and, and onward. We welcome are in a position to provide a platform that is open and scalable in terms of hardware and software to go across those three domains. That is the digital chassis. Okay, that's really interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you.